Hi guys, this is Clara Hudson of Wally Play Designs, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a left-leaning double decrease. This is also referred to as a slip one, knit two together, pass slip stitch over. And if you look at my little swatch here, where we can see this stitch created is right here in the center. We're going to be slipping the first stitch, knitting the next two stitches together, and passing the slip stitch over the knit two together. And if you're working this stitch in a lace pattern, typically since it's a double decrease, you're decreasing three stitches to just one. Um, so typically you're going to see a yarn over at the beginning of that stitch and at the end. And what that does is it just increases your number by two stitches again so that your stitch count is not changed in your pattern. So I have marked in this swatch where I'm going to be placing this double decrease. And I've marked it twice on this little swatch. There's our three stitches. So I'm going to go ahead and work up to that first stitch marker and show you how we perform that decrease. Okay, so here is our first set of stitch markers and there's our three stitches that we're going to be working. So I'm going to be slipping that stitch marker. Now to keep our stitch count the same, I'm just going to simply yarn over my needle and then we'll do that slip one so slip the first stitch knit-wise onto our right-hand needle, and then the next two stitches we'll knit two together. Now we will insert our left-hand needle through that slipped stitch, and we're going to pass it over the knit two together. And now to keep our stitch count the same, you can see we only have two stitches, we want three. So we'll yarn over, slip our marker, and then continue working in pattern. And I'm going to go ahead and stop here and show you what we've just done. So there is our slip one, knit two together, pass stitch over, the slip stitch over. That's our double decrease, and then we yarn over it on both sides to bring our stitch count back to three. So I'm going to show that to you again. I'm going to work over to our second set of stitch markers. Right here is where we're going to be placing that slip one, knit two together, pass slip stitch over. And this time I'm going to do that without yarning over so you can see what it looks like. So we're going to slip our first stitch knit wise, knit two stitches together, and then pass that slipped stitch over the knit two together. And if you take a look, that creates the same shape in your work. It's just a left leaning double decrease but without the yarn overs on both sides. So of course you'll just follow the instructions for the particular pattern that you're following. But that is how we create a double decrease, left leaning double decrease, or a slip one, knit two together, pass slip stitch over. So I hope this technique helps you guys out. Thanks so much for watching.